Nicole Ritchie. The men's 50 back through now. First heat, Alex McGill, Imogen Sargent, Ellis Shields. Lots of blocks, good underwork in lane four by Natasha Whittle, Loughborough yeah. University yeah. athlete. Also going well on the far side of the pool, Alex McGill in lane one, Gateshead and Wickham. And it is lanes one and four leading out. Alex McGill in one, Natasha Whittle in four, but it's the four, it's Luff University swimmer in four, Natasha Whittle beginning to pull clear. I think second place will be Alex McGill, but it is Natasha first, 29.32. So, so Lots of main wearing of West Lothian in two, Maria Howe, University of Aberdeen in three, Alice Stevenson, City of Glasgow in four, Neve Savary. Newcastle in five, Alex McGill, Gateshead in six, Lucy Lucas, Edinburgh University in seven, and Katie Rose, Wanda Baths in lane eight. Just under a second between all of these eight girls in this first heat. And it's pretty even as they go across here. Not a lot between the eight of them. Maybe lane three. Sorry, lane six. It's... Uh, Alex McGill from Gateshead, 18-year-old. She's maybe just edging ahead with Lucy Lucas from Edinburgh Uni next to her. But it's pretty close across the rest of the field. Making good use of the turns there, Alex. And this is Alex is going well, as is Lucy on her. It's very close across the rest of them. Lane four, maybe Ella Stevenson as well. But this is very, very tight, other than Alex McGill and Lucy Lucas. Alex is going to take this one, I think. Nice swim there for her. 102. Here we go then with the first heat of this 17 years and over 100 metre backstroke. Lara Mills from Wickham District in lane zero. Eve Salomon Hodges from Wally Wasps in one. Emily Mears Bentley from City of Leicester in two. Catherine Butcher from Team Bath in three. Mia Koya from Black Lion in four. Ella Turner from Plymouth Leander in five. Ella Stevenson from Belshaw Sharks in six. Amy Brown from Swim Bournemouth in seven. Catherine Land from Poole in eight. And Alex Begill in nine from Gateshead and Wickham as they get the two the turn. It's Catherine Butcher in the lead with Mia Collar chasing it down in second. Ella Turner in five in third. And Alex McGill having a good swim up the top there. Great first 50 for her in nine. So here we go then into the final stages. And it looks like that uh, lane four, Mia Collar is just, just going to... Uh, ease her way through the rest of the field although she's not having it her own way actually as we get towards these final 10 meters but Kaya should come home second to first and she will do could be tight for second in lane five and two there between Ella Turner and Emily Mears Bentley but it is Mila Collar who gets there Ella Turner gets there first and I tell you what Alex McGill at the top there in lane nine great swim from her to it's Jessica Beaton in lane five Mia Chester lane six from Elgin lane seven Katie Palmer Chester La Street and in lane eight Back in the pool, Layla Weatherspoon, Heart of Midlothian. Been a busy girl this afternoon, Layla. Yeah, we know she likes to fly and she's leading and she's leading from lane eight. She definitely touches first there as they move on to the back. Can she hold on? That's the question. Going well in lane three. Alex McGill, Gateshead and Wickham. On the far side of the pool in one, Alice Mackey, Heart of Midlothian. But it's lane three, Alex McGill, I think, leading at the halfway stage, 30-45. Second place for Alice Mackey, third place for Layla Wetherspoon. So lanes one and eight, again, going so well. Starting to come through in lane two to Tender Tien, get the Brooks Dockton swimmer. In lanes five, in lane six, Maya Cheshire as well. But at the minute, it's Alex McGill in three, Maya Cheshire in six. Coming through in lane four, Freya Masson from Shetland. And Freya Masson with a very good turn now is on the shoulder of the gate set of Wickham swimmer Alex McGill. Alex McGill in three, Freya Masson in four, in six, Mia Chesser. But it looks like this is going to go to late three. Alex McGill, she touches first, 108 28. Good finish from Layla Weatherspoon. Gate set in Wickham. Four is Zoe Crawford from first. Five, Kaja Hickleton from Tadcaster. Six, Lexine McCappen from first. Seven, Catherine Bodie from Geary. And eight, Natalie Marshall, swim West Lothian. Pretty close on paper this, just over a second between all eight swimmers. So let's see if that 
comes and translates into in the pool. So Zoe Crawford in four, also going strong in three, Alex McGill from Gateshead. And out there in lane one, Anna Finlay also from Gateshead, so both of them showing strongly. And it is a Gateshead 1 2. 30 69 for Anna. Strong start on the far side again. Lane's three and one. Yep. She makes from Gateshead. Good yeah. turn there for lane three from Alex McGill, and she has taken almost a body length off there. And it's in between the wall. Anna Finlay is faster, faster repping and catching her up. Oh, two Gateshead and Wicken girls uh, off the nice strong start 106 10, 106 89. They're well uh, clear of Zoe Crawford, whose uh, backstroke is pretty useful. Let's see what uh, breaststroke brings us. Two Gateshead and Wickham girls still going well. Anna Finlay, if anything, best of those two. And then lead five coming through. Kaja Rickleton from Tadcaster. Lane one. Uh, Looks as though she's got this one well in the back, Tony. Very strong breaststroke. As we've said, off in the way in the IM, it's the breaststroker who comes through strong and she was up in the lead even before breaststroke. And she's taken nearly five metres off her teammate Alex McGill on that breaststroke. 148.54. All of a sudden, she's four she's or five seconds quicker than the previous heat. She's got a chance of a B final here. Uh, 148.20 was a split... Uh, for the swimmer that got 2.21.56. That's very good homework, Robert. So she's got to find something. Well, we do try our best, Tony, don't we? <laughs> People have been complaining that we've been doing nothing for the last hour. Well, can she get close to it? Well, uh, we can't, we can't complain with a 15-year-old doing a 2.24.20.